In October 2015, my constituency of Peace River was dealt an economic blow when Shell cancelled the Carmen Creek oil sands project. The opposition tried to blame our newly elected government for this, even though Shell made it clear the decision was based on low oil prices and pipeline uncertainty. Shell, in fact, supported our environmental and regulatory policies. A few months later, I toured Shell's Peace River operations, including the Carmen Creek site. It was sad to see this massive industrial project as a virtual ghost town. The empty state-of-the-art camp facility, the partially constructed 690 megawatt cogenerational plant. Our community, however, remained hopeful, and we are now finally seeing positive signs of recovery. The Climate Leadership Plan has led to two new pipeline approvals, and companies are embracing opportunities to invest in renewable energy technology. In November, Baytex increased investment in Peace River by purchasing $65 million in heavy oil assets with the goal of restarting shut-in production over the next few years. In February, Kineticor purchased the Carmen Creek cogeneration plant, intending to repurpose the facility as a standalone power plant, producing green energy and reducing emissions. A few days ago, we learned that CNRL is acquiring Shell's assets in Peace River. As part of the agreement, CNRL will continue to employ the 110 staff in Peace River and take over the Carmen Creek thermal oil sands assets and undeveloped leases. These are positive opportunities for Peace River, a sign of investor confidence in economic recovery and growth in the north. However, instead of supporting things that will make life better for families in my constituency, the opposition has chosen to portray this as a negative statement against our government policies. Rather than offering encouragement and hope to Peace River families, the opposition is fear-mongering and tearing down these signs of economic recovery. In Peace River, we are excited to see CNRL, Baytex and Kineticor breathing new life into our economy. These Alberta-based companies will foster economic growth in our region, and with the help of our government's progressive and forward-looking policies, they will do this in a way that balances economic prosperity with environmental responsibility. This is good news. Yeah.